So whenever making stannous for testing solutions, um, I prefer to use this stannous chloride dehydrate. Um, it comes in crystal form, and I'm about to show you how I make mine. My stannous is running really low. I got about two grams here of the crystals. I add it to my bottle of stannous and then what I do is add HCL my HCL is in here 31 4 5 percent I put about let's say 10 15 mils um I usually measure it out in my little glass, I don't know why I'm using the pipette, but I add my HCL directly in and I got pieces of tin right here, pure tin, and I add these little pieces in there just to keep it fresh, keep it working. Um, the crystals by themselves with the HCL is more than enough to make this but just to keep it fresh, last longer. Um, and then I top it off with a little bit of water. Just so it ain't so strong. I use a little dripper bottle and uh, once it's all said and done just give it a couple of quick stirs, shakes and just like that, I got instant stannous. Now, give you guys a quick test. Um, these are the 8086 chips, and they are pretty much done. Get a little bit of this um, solution, and uh, test it out see if I have golden solution which I believe there is because there's no more legs reaction is stopped um, the caps are still going um, I had to decant and put some fresh acid in there but uh, let's test our stannous chloride it's testing solution to see if our gold is in solution and instantaneously went black. Um, that is a very pregnant, very good indication that both my stannous is good and uh, we got golden solution. I'm going to let these go on high and boil this slow boil, take it up to almost a boil to make sure I get all of the uh, silicon dyes, the gold on there, and release it all. But that's another story. Stannous test stannous chloride dehydrate as you see it's from the science company I paid about 25 30 bucks for this um, I live here in Colorado in Lakewood it's about 10 minutes from my house so it's pretty convenient for me um, and this is how I make my stannous man laters